everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Let's Play. Um, I've I've done some stuff, stuff and things, stuff and things have been done. Um, primarily, sorry, give me a second. I gotta turn my game sounds up. Primarily, uh, I moved all of my ooh, all of my create stuff from the middle of the island off to the side over there and I moved all of my machines from up top to down here I've also added all the mechanism machines and upgraded them to the ultimate tier uh, just in my spare time I've, I've been doing all of that um, mainly to get ready for what the next goal is which the next goal is mechanism uh power generation so yeah that's that's gonna be the big the big thing because i i'm getting by right now i'm getting by just well enough that's the problem i start turning on all of my machines and this starts draining it gets nighttime this starts draining uh i fixed some of the problem you can't see it but way up there, you can kind of see it. I put like four or five uh, wind power generators. So they're just, they're at the highest Y level they could possibly be. And they're just cranking out wind power. Uh, which is kind of getting me, like I said, just above where I need to be. On occasion, this will drop super low like i said when the sun goes down and these guys turn off it'll mess up these guys sometimes run out of lava i think i've gotten that pretty sorted out uh i have a heat generator back here that kind of isn't great um he's putting out some power but not a lot and i don't really know how to get him to higher levels but that's not important because he's like the lowest end of generator and i've still got my uh create stuff over here kind of cranking out power and i've added some flux points i've, I've built a flux network and i've started uh doing mob farming and bee farming are kind of the two things that I've taken care of between episodes. This is just your standard uh, dreadful dirt, cursed earth, whatever you want to call it, uh, with a pedestal uh, killing everything and hoppers, like vacuum hoppers and pedestals collecting all of the loot. Uh, I've got this farm going because we are going to start cranking out biofuel pretty soon. Uh, and bees... I'm just getting the initial setup started with um, just needing to get bees ready for upcoming when I want to start using them more. I've also gone ahead and made what I think is every mechanism machine that I need to get a mechanism generator uh, fusion reactor going. The only thing I don't have is this guy the solar neutron activator and the only reason i don't have that is because i don't have hdpe sheets yet or yeah sheets pellets i don't have any of that so we've got to get into substrates which has got to get into the oxygen liquid ethylene all of that kind of stuff which is what all of these machines are so that is what we are about to start working on i have decided that i'm going to build it way up there and then use like wireless network uh, relays. That's what the flux networks are for uh, to get power from up there to down here. Because that should stay chunk loaded up there if I'm in this area. So it's it's far out of the way in case anything goes wrong. And it's close enough that my power relay isn't going super far. I've also got ender chest networks set up now so I can... Uh, do all of that. I've got my wireless network and there's already a wireless network up there So I think we are good to go with that So I'm going to start by taking all of this stuff out And we are going to go up to the top uh, I do need to grab 
some of the cables that I've made and this tank of oxygen and maybe this tank as well. Uh, I do have some uh, elite pressurized tubes. I could maybe go ahead and just make the ultimate. Uh, and then I'll get the ultimate of every other grade as well. Because I don't know which is for which. Like some is for fluid, some is for um, energy, some is for items. So we, we will take a look at all of that when we get up there. So I do have a jetpack that I found on this island. Uh, I did explore it just a little bit to see uh, what all was available loot-wise. I might need to put another uh, rain blocker up here. Because I guess that rain blocker only works in a small chunk radius. So I do have my controller up here for my wireless network. And we, like I said, should be good to go. Uh, my, my wireless transmitter is really the only thing that doesn't work up here. I don't have enough range extenders. And I think the only way to get it like super far is like a creative range extender. So uh, we're not going to worry about that. Sorry, right I, I cut for a second because I needed to stop the rain. So I put a rain blocker rain shield up here and I just I needed the rain to be gone so this reactor needs to be a seven by seven so one two not of reactor glass needs to be a reactor casing one two three four five six seven 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 and then seven up so one two three four five six seven i believe correct one two three four five six seven yep and then same on all four corners one two three four five six seven and then i'm gonna grab a building gadget and i'm going to do this this, this, that, and that, and that. Perfect. So now, reactor glass needs to be the same. Just fill in the gaps. So one, two, three, four, five. Fill in the gaps. Did you not? Okay. So then here all the way up and then along the bottom right here and here and hopefully if I did all of that right it is the structure it needs to be and then on one side of this I need to put uh, the logics but I also need to put the fuel assemblies in and the control rods, which are these. So the control rod assemblies need to go all along the top. So does that, I think, does the top need to be, I think it needs to be reacting, uh, reactor casing. So I need to go back and probably, eh, I'm not gonna worry about doing an exchanger gadget. I'm just gonna come up here and hopefully, oh wait, no, I just never put a top in. So can it be glass or does it have to be reactor casings? I think it has to be reactor casings. So I can just do this all the way across. So then these, the uh, control rod assemblies go every other every other block and then these guys come down from that so I know that I can do this as well Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. I'll, I'll take this out and then I'll fill this whole thing back in. Once I finish these guys. Then once again, reactor glass, not structural glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I, all right, yep, particle effects. That means the thing is complete. It just needs the logic adapters, the um, reactor ports, and all of that so those I think can pretty much go anywhere but one of them is gonna have to face the direction that we want our turbine which I didn't really think about where I wanted the turbine on this little island uh, we could probably we probably could have built this inside of there that would have actually been pretty cool I didn't even think about that uh, this was one two three four five and then six seven eh. It would have it, it it probably would have been cool in here, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Do I want to worry about it? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Okay. So then the turbine needs to go out in another direction. We could probably just bring the turbine back this way. Uh, so give me just a second to look up and remember how to do that. And we will be right back. I might go ahead and move this. I, it's feeling like it might be really cool inside of here. We'll see what I decide. Okay, so all I'm saying is that if this place hadn't been perfectly 7x7, seven seven, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Off to build the turbine. There we go, now I got the particle effects. I don't know that I got them before. Uh, if I did, that's fine. But it didn't look like I did. And then it just needs the uh, turbine valves on one of the sides. And then I just need to figure out how to pipe these together. So I will work on that as well. I know that this has been just kind of a jump cutty episode, but I'm trying to get it all done in in like one go and not have to break it up into multiple episodes so it's just going back and double checking my work that's all i'm doing i promise all right so then i need a turbine valve on this side with a flux point no i'm sorry i need a flux plug and this plug is actually going to be on my power gen network so that way anything that comes out of this is just going to dump into uh some networks and I'll, I'll work on my network issues later 
Uh, I'll figure out what needs to be routed where and how I need to figure all that out. But for right now, you're going to output here. Then I need to come over to this guy. And I do need to put like a logic circuit on him. So we can take these out. It might need to be separated a little bit farther. Uh, and then these two guys are gonna go somewhere. So we will probably need to double check some of this stuff. I just don't want it to be wrong. So give me, once again, another few minutes to check everything out. All right, so that last cut had little to do with me needing to go back and check the video and had everything to do with the fact that my mouse did that scroll wheel thing again, where all of a sudden it just got stuck doing a thing, I don't know. So we're gonna put a lever here, we're gonna turn this on this needs to be set to high temperature output signal and then this needs to be set to on and then this needs to be set to activation mode so I think I'm pretty sure that's how Dyer done it yes so it is currently now active. It's just not doing anything because I don't have fuel in it. So that is good. We just now need to work on fuel and getting fuel into the system, which I will probably do in another episode. Uh, I also need to get uh, power out of this thing. So we're gonna come over to this side really quick. And I'm just going to put these last two controllers here. And those have now fallen into... Okay. So that's going to be uh, like fuel in and power out, I believe. Because that's water in. This is uh, gonna be steam out, and hopefully that pipe isn't too long that it's not going to do what it needs to do. So you're going to be in pull mode, and you should be, I believe, in push mode, because now you're gonna get steam. Actually, I think, I mean, the power I believe doesn't come from this generator. I believe the power comes from the steam turbine, which is why I've got homeboy right there. I think, does power come out of both? Power might come out of both. And that's just also a way to keep this from exploding. So in the next episode, we're also gonna have to worry about uh, waste output. We're gonna do all of these machines to start getting the HDPE sheets that are then gonna help me make that final machine to make uh, the fuel and all of that for the actual thing so sorry that this episode seemed slicey it took me so many days to make episode 17 uh which is the one you're watching uh I, it took several iterations it took several um, trial and error it took a it took a lot to get to this point life got in the way of some things that's not important that's not your stuff that you need to worry about so thank you all so much for keeping up with this series thank you all so much for watching this episode we will see you in the next one where hopefully my brain can actually like put together something i do think this looks really cool inside this building i'm really glad that i found this building to to put this stuff in anyway i will see you in the next episode thank you all so much for watching later